This is Me Without You. It is written by Lisa Swirling and Ralph Lazar. I'm going to read just a, a section of it because there's so many pages. So Me Without You. I love you. There's, of course, an amazing thought bubble. Here we go. Me without you is like sky without blue. Foot without shoe. Hair without dew. Cow without moo. Or dove without coo. It's like paddle without canoe. Or clock without cuckoo. Or cat without mew. Ooh. Sorry about the noise. It's garbage day at my house. It's like a detective without a clue. A kanga without roo. Oh, sad kangaroo. Or doctor without who. It's like a ballerina without a tutu. Ah! Embarrassment. Or a ram without a new. Oh, found a U. It's like a panda without bamboo. Look at his little tummy, rumble, rumble. Or a picture that's askew. I love that word. You can probably tell from the picture what askew means. A book that is overdue. Fortunately, our librarians never look like that. They're very understanding when we have late books. A knot I can't undo. Ooh, that's filled with frustration for sure. It's like a boo hoo. Me without you? What would I do? Boo! Phew! That end. Now the reason I chose that is because that's how I feel as a teacher. I miss my class. I miss you.